Hello, welcome to Selection Fish Hub. And in this series of fish farming without water change, I'll be telling you in details what has been happening in this farm over time and what we have been able to do to manage our fish to grow out without water change. The application of probiotics to your fish pond. How these probiotics is being used and how we have been able to achieve the success so far. I'll be showing you in details how you can effectively use these probiotics to grow your fish without water change. If you are new in this channel, remember to subscribe and turn on your notification button so that if you share any video, especially on this series of fish farming without water change, you will get the notification. So basically, we have achieved the success so far in this farm with three major probiotics that comes from organic biota. It's an Indian-based product that we use to farm our fish without water change. One of them is called BioClean Upper Fish. The second is called BioGut Aqua. And the third is called BioClean Aqua Plus. This BioClean Aqua Plus is for disease prevention and disease cure. It just enables your fish to stay without any influx of disease or pathogen. Or it's a measure employed to avoid the influx of disease to your fund. Secondly, the BioGut Aqua is used to reduce the feed conversion ratio and this is being mixed with the feed but the main product which is bioclean aqua fish is used to farm fish without water change and we introduce it in the pond by emptying this product in a 10 liter of water and giving it a, a period of five days for it to be able to culture before we pour the water and the product into the fish tank. This BioClean Aqua Fish comes in this pack and it weighs 50 grams. So this is a 50 pack gram of BioClean Aqua Fish. So BioClean Aqua Fish is the major product or the major probiotics we use to culture fish here. This extra two products are just supplementary product that backs up this one of them is used for biosecurity while the other one is used to reduce the feed conversion ratio so that when our fish eats it converts well to body flesh and the proteinous food that the bacteria produce when they at on the ammonia buildup, the fish can be able to convert it well to body weight. Each of the tank ordinarily have a carrying capacity of 500 fish to grow out. But because we wanted to achieve this process of culturing your fish without water change, we reduced the stocking density to 250 fish per pond. Since we are not using aerators, and the sources is just tied to the fact that we added sand to the pond bottom. So the bacteria are prolific in this pond because it has both the soil as a substrate to attach itself and also the water to dominate. So the action of the bacteria is high on the water because we added soil also to the pond bottom. Moving forward, we notice that since we are not using aerators, reducing the stocking density is the best way to reduce competition in terms of oxygen and other water quality parameters. When you have already stocked your fish into your pond, normally, remember the stocking density is 250 
fish in a 10 by 10 feet pond, 10 feet width, 10 feet length, and a 4 feet height. So remember that the stocking density is 250 fish per pond. Then the BioClean Aqua Plus, which is used to prevent influx of disease or uh, pathogen to the pond, is being added to the pond just with a teaspoon. When you get a teaspoon, fill it up with this particular product that also come in 50 gram weight. You just spread it evenly in your pond for biosecurity reasons to prevent influx of disease. So, the top product, which is called Biogot Aqua, is mixed with the feed, especially at their early stage, so that it can allow the enzymes and the bacteria that helps to reduce feed conversion ratio to attach themselves to the gut of the fish and also to dominate the water surface. We also use a teaspoon to add this particular product that also comes in 50 grams to 15 kg bag of feed. So what you just do when you open it, you get the teaspoon, you fill it up with the teaspoon and you empty your feed in a bowl or a container and add the probiotics. One teaspoon is for 15 kg bag of feed and you miss evenly then you that is where you fetch your feed and feed the fish so these are the basic three things we do using this product and we have achieved this success over a short period of time